They're colorful, crunchy, and messy. It's the Barrier Taco. This will be a little bit of a process, but trust me, it's worth it. And I'll show you how to use an Instant Pot to help save you time. We're using two different types of chili in this recipe. Both are fruity and delicious. When it comes to the meat, we're going to be using short ribs for their succulents and chuck roast for the texture. The combination is perfect for this recipe. I've taken some carrots and I've given them a wash. I'm just gonna roughly chop these carrots. We're taking some yellow onion, top, tailing, and removing the skin. And these can be roughly chopped as we're gonna roast these and we don't want them too small as they'll burn. Just wanna spray this with some vegetable oil or brush it with some canola oil. And we're gonna season the meat and the vegetables with some salt and some pepper. We're using an oven to brown the meat and the vegetables today. Use an oven, it saves time and it helps with clean up. I've let it cook for about 10 minutes. We're gonna turn the meat over and with the carrots and the onion, the garlic has already got a lovely color to it. So we're gonna remove the garlic as we don't want those to burn. We're gonna place the tray back in the oven and let it go for about another 10 to 15 minutes until it's nice and brown. We'll place this to one side in a pot. I'm gonna add some beef stock. Feel free to use your homemade beef stock in this recipe or whatever brand you like. We're gonna add some cumin and both sets of chili. Each one of these chilies have a distinctive taste and it really adds to the flavor. Some oregano. and turn this on. We wanna let this cook until the chilies have rehydrated and they softened nicely. We want to blend everything together into a sauce. This is what they call a consomme to be served with the taco. I'm adding the chilies to the blender. And I'm going to take a couple of ladlefuls of that beef chili stock. This will help it blend to a nice consistency. Whenever we blend a hot liquid, we always wanna start the blender off on its lowest setting. That way the top won't blow off. It's always a good idea to hold the top with a towel as well. We're gonna turn up the blender and let this go for 60 seconds. We're gonna add the onions, the carrots, and the roasted garlic to the blender and we're gonna blend this for about two minutes to get a nice, silky, velvety sauce. You can see the sauce is ready. Let's add our meat to the Instant Pot. We're using an Instant Pot today because the pressure is gonna help the meat cook really quickly. Normally it would take about two to three hours to braise the meat. In the Instant Pot, you can make this in 45 minutes. I'll add a couple of bay leaves for their frollness and their mintiness. And now we'll add the sauce and the beef stock. We're gonna place this into the Instant Pot. Place on the lid. And the wonderful thing about the new Instant Pots is you can actually control it from your phone. You can go to the app, type in the amount of time what you want this to cook and turn it on. Look at that, how perfect is that? Don't you love technology? After 45 minutes, the meat's cooked. Before we get to see that meat, the first thing we wanna do is remove that layer of oil on the top. The key to a barrier taco is actually utilizing that oil to fry the tortilla. I'm gonna place this in a wide bowl. That way, when we dip our tortillas in, it's really easy. I'm gonna place this to one side 
and I want to show you this meat. I can't wait for you to see how blissfully tender this meat is. And look how tender this is. Just using two forks, the meat falls apart. It's effortless. We can just shred that beef so easy. You know this is going to taste so good. Let's place this meat into a bowl. We're going to add a little bit of the consomme to this so that the meat can absorb some of those flavors. And you can make this a couple of days ahead of time or you can actually make it and freeze it. Now the part what makes a barrier taco difference as well is dipping it in that fat. This gives it that bright, beautiful color. The pan's nice and hot and we're gonna start to cook the first side. And now we're gonna add some cheese. I'm adding Mexican cheese to this recipe, but feel free if you want to use some Monterey Jack. You could actually even use a Gruyere cheese. Top this with some of that shredded meat. And I'm gonna drizzle a small amount of that consomme on top of the meat. And we're gonna place the lid on to help melt the cheese for a couple of minutes. And now I'm gonna fold those tacos. Just look, I'm folding them over each other so they're easy to pick up and pull apart. Let them cook for about a minute or two on the first side, because we're looking to get a crunchy taco. And then we're gonna turn these over. Can you see the color on that taco? You know it's gonna be so crunchy. I'm gonna remove them and place them on a plate and place these in an oven that's just keeping them nice and warm. With barrier tacos, they like to serve it with this consomme. I'm gonna ladle some into a bowl and I top this with some cilantro and onions. And there you have it, the king of tacos, the barrier taco. How good does that look? I can't wait for you to try this recipe in your kitchen.